The Rosie Project is a romantic comedy about a socially challenged genetics professor who sets out to find himself a wife scientifically. Don is somebody who is very socially challenged. We would call him a, a pretty uber geek. He sees what he wants in, in a wife in very technical terms. He makes a 16-page, double-sided list of all the attributes he wants in a woman. So he's a man who knows exactly what he wants. What he doesn't know is what he needs. And it's going to take an encounter with Rosie, um, who meets none of his criteria, um, to teach him that what he thinks he wants is not in fact what he really needs. So one of the really gratifying things for me has been the reaction from men. Even though the words romantic and so forth are used around the book, it's a story that men find they can relate to. And I guess that shouldn't be surprising. It's funny and men often enjoy comedy. And it's written by a middle-aged man. So it's coming from a perspective um, of someone perhaps a little bit like themselves. The Rosie Project is technically, structurally, it's a romantic comedy, but I think it's a romantic comedy that nobody should be embarrassed to read. I like to think that you can follow that structure and you can still be intelligent, sensitive, sophisticated if you want to be, and without even sacrificing it being a good read. We tackled some pretty big issues in there about how we deal um, with people who don't fit socially, um, about the nature of love, about difference in general, about whether it's more important what we are inside, what our actions are. Because at one point Don effectively says, I can act all the things that you need from me, Rosie. I just don't necessarily feel the same way inside. And look, I think these are, these are important and, and quite deep issues.